Okay, Justin, what's this about? It's about love, Con. That's no, what it's, it's about. it's not about love. Poets, you're always going on about love. This is about the commercialisation of love. In this age of high technology and new materials, we went back to that old tradition, hmm. you know, sort of craft coming together. And it's a fold-out manual hmm. so that you can look at it as a full unit. Well, when you get a new fridge or can... something, Con, don't you get a fold-out <laughs> manual <laughs> yeah, to help yes, you with yeah, this? Instruction yeah, manual. instruction manual. This book. is an instruction manual. It gives you a very basic template for being able to write a completely individual, yet templated poem of your own with the, the, the minimum difficulty. And um, so we thought something that was short, that rhymed, had a bit of, you know, fake sentiment sort mm -hmm. of oozing through it would be the, uh, the appropriate source of uh, a voice. So um, here's sample one. The moment that I saw your face, my heart stopped beating in my chest as if an angel's passing grace had brought the loveliest and best. And on the other side, uh, there's instructions about ordering. This is the commercial bit. Ordering a ring. This, this project came together. You're a jeweller, I'm a poet. We were talking one day in a restaurant about the abuse of Valentine's Day when it's the only time where poetry and jewellery like get, like get come out together and uh, uh, perambulate. But yeah. where did Valentine's Day start? Uh, well, I of mean... course, it's just a, like a ridiculous religious festival. Like there's so many St. Valentines. No one knows who these people are, right? It seems to have been like hyper-commercialised very, very recently, although it's ever, it goes back to the end of the 18th century. So how then do we bring the two together? You know, we sort of... That's right. We want jewellery. We want poetry. We want both of these on a day where they're brought together and abused, where no one thinks about the jewellery or, so it's or bringing, about the poetry. it's essentially bringing attention back to that. Yeah. So this is, this is it. A beautiful thing that's a gift where a third party from a man and a woman who have made it together as an instruction manual to give to you. So then you can go off and either make a poem and a, and a ring. So it's taking the current wet dream technology of everyone's desire, 3D printing, and playing with that to make a very simple nylon printed ring. So this is in white nylon and it's sugary sweet. The idea is that with wearing it, it will accrue all the, the dirt and moisture of everyday life. Well, it takes it back to love as a commitment and as fidelity and as something that you stick with over time despite its damage and dirt that it accrues as opposed to that one-off kind of, I guess, you know, what, what two seconds of squelching <laughs> that, is, that is Valentine's Day. You've automated Valentine's Day. So there's a young... Um, emerging jeweller, Ben Dixon Ward, who is using 3D printing in a very interesting way yeah. and creating her own language out of it. And she uh, talks with grids. She's really interested in grids and the use of a geometric form like and that. how it may be given a three-dimensional organic yeah. shape. Yeah. And then when it's worn on the body, how it sort of falls around the body and moves with the body. Yeah, she's thinking about it. So it's yeah. the spatial, the seeing through it. Absolutely. It's no longer solid. It moves. Mm. It has all these sort of yeah. little layers. And it's something that can only really happen with 3D printing in mm. this way. So I think it's really interesting to see the different mm. ways of seeing how technology may be used to make something that is organic but geometric and actually goes back through history. Yeah. You know, necklaces like this have been made mm. throughout history in different materials, yeah. speaking of different times. Yeah. And this one starts to speak of this it's time. It's completely contemporary.